Hello everyone! Hi! Welcome back to Drink, Drink Read Fabio. Fabio! I'm Kate Brimmer and I'm Sophia Kaiafis and today we're doing our March wrap up. Woohoo! We're gonna talk about what were our faves and what were not our yeah. faves. And then we're gonna tell you which book we ended up picking for our TBR for next month. So the first book we're gonna talk about is just our books that we both read for our OG Drinkery Fabio spiel where we pick a ridiculous romance and we share the synopsis with each other. So I picked When She's Pregnant by Ruby Dixon. Yes. Yes. You see that right. And I picked Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. Yes. These were both wild crazy. This Birthday Girl was an age severe age gap romance and this one was an alien pregnancy romance. So go check out those videos because they were something. Okay, one star. So we're starting out with one star. We rarely have a one star. Yeah. This is more like a 1.5. Yeah, I don't know, but it's The Score by L. Kennedy. You guys, I don't know. I just like, there are parts in here where I was just like, Nuck, you're not, are you for real right now? Are you for real? Like, it's just not my kind of guy, and uh, I don't know, he calls, his, his name is Dean. He calls his dick Lil' Jean. Like, I just, <laughs> that's, no. No. Who, who are you? If someone said that to me in real life, I'd be like, are you 10? Yeah. And I just thought, like, I read The Deal and then The Mistake, and I enjoyed both of those. It's not that I didn't enjoy this, but I was just like, what happened? Moving on to two stars. Yes. Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne. Yes. This was just mm. meh. It's just meh. I was kind of bored. Yeah, the characters didn't really feel like they had any chemistry. And it just kind of I th moved fast at some places, then moved slow at others when it didn't need to. When I read a rom-com like this, or like a super, you know, easy romance novel, it has to be something that I'm super engaged with that I want to turn the page. And it was kind of a struggle for me to turn the page here. Yeah. We read it uh, as part of our book club that we're a part of in New York. So if you live in New York, go look at book the book club bar. You can join our romance book club. But we had to read it for that. So that was kind of a slog because we were like requir required to read it. Yeah, I probably would have DNF'd, honestly, yeah. if I wasn't required to read this. It just wasn't my fave. No. Meh. Moving on to Three Star Reads. The Mistake by Elle Kennedy. Yeah. I thought this one was just, like, cute. Yeah, it's super cute. Super fun. Um, love the characters, especially mm -hmm. Logan. <gasps> I'm Logan. obsessed with Logan. <sighs> John Logan. Yeah. He's so cute. Golden Retriever energy. You guys know. So Golden Retriever. We love it. We love it. Hockey romance. Eat it up. Such We're eating time. it up. Yeah. I felt like the first half was so good. I was like four star for sure. This is like the deal for me. And then the second half just fell, fell flat. short. And Dragged she, a the girl bit. kind of annoyed me a little bit. She kind of was a little whiny. My next three star read is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This was so bingeable, but it's just really, really sad. And also just content that I can't relate to. Um, but the end was really, really good. But it is, it really hits you in the heart. And right now, especially, now we're finally coming out of winter. But at the beginning of the month, it was cold. And I didn't want to read sad things. Mm -mm. So maybe not the best time for me to read this. Still very good. Moving on to Four Stories. stories. <laughs> First I have... His and Hers by Alice Feeney. This was so fun. It's a thriller. The only downfall is that it's very anxiety inducing, mm -hmm. especially the end. I literally on a work night stayed up till like 1.30 to finish it because I wouldn't have been able to go to bed without finishing it because I was so anxious. Yeah. And it wasn't almost to the point where it wasn't even fun anymore. I just had to figure out what was happening <laughs> because it, the, it has a lot of like unanswered questions and suspense that really gets the heart going. And then the next one I have is The Deal by L. Kennedy. 
I started the off-campus series this month and it's so fun. The deal is by far my favorite so far. Yeah, me so too. So fun. The story is very well driven. The characters are fun. I loved their growth as characters. Just mm -hmm. grow. And Gary Grimm. I low-key like John Logan better. I don't know. They, I kind of both. I like them both. <laughs> You're like, can I both? <laughs> They're both golden retriever <laughs> boys. So I'm like, the well, thing that yeah. knocks Garrett down is that he is terrible on those first fifty pages. He's the worst, and then he like flips a switch. John Logan's conceited in the beginning too. Not like him. Mm. Not like him. He's bad. Moving on to five, five star. Okay. So the first one I have is, duh, Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. I just started the Throne of Glass series and it was so good. Like I was just like flying through this and I don't know, it's just like the stories are, because it's a bunch of novellas and the stories like separately aren't, like they're good. But, like, when you join the whole picture and just, like, her writing, she just immerses you in it. And like, it makes so much sense when you get to that final story. Yeah, and you're like... I get it. Okay, everything pulled together, and this is wild, and, and I needed to read the next one. Yep. I am re-reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yes. And I binged this month. I got through three of them. <laughs> I could not stop because the dramatized is so good. It's so the good. The dramatized audiobook. Yeah, the dramatized yeah. audiobook is so, so, so good. It's amazing. They have, I think I said it last time, but oh. we, they have a full cast. They have background noises, sound effects, music. It's literally a movie in your mind. It's so good. Love it. Do it. Literally all three in one month. That's like 40 hours. I honestly yes. shouldn't be saying it. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed about this. No. And then I binge read Daisy yes. Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid before the show came out. And reread. Reread. And I annotated it. And look at all, all of that. Wow. Um, yeah, there was a lot of parts I loved. And honestly, I loved it so much more the second time. I feel like the first time, I probably would have rated a four. And then the second time, because, like, the characters in the book are talking about past events, but the first time you're reading it, you're only, you only know it as they tell it. But the second time, it's like you know it with them. So you can see the underlying foreshadowing within what they're saying, even if they're not talking about the a future topic, they're like still kind of talking about it underneath everything. And that part is just so interesting. And I really appreciated the way she wrote it more the second time. So I really loved it so much. And then I read The Book Thief, um, which Kate, picked out for me to read and I picked out the deal for her um, by Marcus Suzak and it's beautiful. So good, right? It's just a really stunning beautiful book and the fact that it's narrated by death gives it such an interesting outlook. It's just a beautiful story of this like not Dark. blood family becoming family and the dark time of the finding, start of World War II. It's like finding the light in the dark. Yeah. In a way. It's still very dark. But it's, Don't take that. Yeah, it's a sad book. I cried. But okay. it's beautiful. And then lastly, um, I'm not going to rate this because it's a memoir, but uh, this is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. And I don't think it was like a top book. Like, I don't want to rate it, but... It was just really fun. It's lighthearted. People say like, you should definitely read this book in your 20s. I don't really think that it's like, you need to read this, like it's gonna change your life. It's it's just kind of like fun stories and throughout her growing up and figuring herself out that 
help you kind of reflect on your own experiences. I listened to the audiobook of this um, because she's British and like just having a British person say the things that she's talking about rather than me as an American reading them just made it come to life more because I could hear it in her voice like she narrated it herself so that was really fun and I think it's a great one to just like listen to and her stories are crazy. crazy and so oh. silly she's she's really funny so that's our wrap up yes I hope so. you guys enjoyed now I think we talked about it a little bit last time but yeah. every month we're going to be doing some new fun way to incorporate a book we probably wouldn't have chosen into our TBR for the next month. Mm -hmm. We're bringing a book to a priority that maybe we wouldn't have grabbed. So we did a poll on our Instagram. We had a couple different categories and the one that won was a book with flowers on the cover. Because spring! Because spring! That one won like with flying colors. Oh so. yeah. So I picked Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark, and the the flowers are really light, but there's like a couple different flowers on here. Um, and I hear this is like a mafia romance, and I'm really excited. And has drops on the cover. And if you know me, you know I love strawberries. So I, I'm here for the cover, and I hope I love the book just as much. And I chose Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have had major FOMO for so long because I had not read this book yet and it's all over book talk, all over bookstagram. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. She just came out with her new sequel, book, so. Which is a sequel, I think, yeah. to this book. Yeah. And everybody's posting about it. So, you know, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. I'm a little nervous because she yeah. chonk. She's chonk. Yeah, she's going to test drive it and tell me if she thinks I'm going to like it because I'm scared because we don't love a grumpy man. We no. just don't. So hopefully it's good enough. But look at the cover. But look at the cover and it's everyone so loves cute. it. And everybody loves it. We don't like feeling left out. No. Especially in the book one. Yeah, it know. gives me anxiety. I'm like, everyone knows and I don't. I know. So, I need it in. I I'm very excited. In. We'll be reading this month. Yes. Stay tuned. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Soph and Kate Reads. And we'll catch you guys next time on Drink, Drink Green Fabio. Fabio. Bye. Bye.